Companies, governments, organizations across the world are working on reducing carbon emissions. Every activity undertaken leads to carbon emissions, be it using your mobile phones or taking a flight. While it is not always possible to cut emissions completely, companies buy carbon credits in order to compensate for the unavoidable emissions. Carbon credit is a permit that allows company to emit a certain amount of CO2. One credit allows emission equal to one ton of carbon dioxide. Now, theoretically, this is the amount removed from the atmosphere or prevented from reaching the atmosphere. Government issues carbon credits and the money received is used in green projects aiming at lower emissions, focusing on forest conservation. This is called carbon offsetting. To ensure that companies do not go overboard with carbon credits, governments issue a limited number of permits to ensure companies only emit a certain amount of CO2. They cap the emissions. Companies are taxed if they produce a higher level of emission. And companies that reduce their emissions can sell or trade unused credits. This entire system is called cap and trade. Carbon is now tracked and traded like any other commodity. Let's understand this. Say company X has emitted lesser than what it had targeted, so they have excess credits. Company Y, on the other hand, emitted more than they have targeted and they are in need of credits. So X can sell it to Y and this will be trading of carbon credits. It's a big market. Voluntary carbon offset credits have increased five times since Paris Agreement. In 2021, it exceeded $1 billion for the first time ever. By 2030, it should be anywhere between $10 billion to $180 billion. But it is a high stakes game. It could lead to reduction in carbon emissions or at the same time lead to greenwashing. More on this in the next video.